The Duke and Duchess of Sussex launched Archwell Audio last year, a podcast series exclusive to Spotify. While it is believed they signed a deal worth £30 million with the streaming service, they have only uploaded one episode so far, a holiday special in December. This episode was packed full of Meghan and Harry's celebrity friends talking about their experience of the coronavirus pandemic, what they learned about themselves, what was their hardest moment, how they would explain it to future generations and what gives them hope. Those featured included James Corden, Deepak Chopra, Elton John, George the Poet, Tyler Perry, Matt Haig and Naomi Osaka. In fact, Meghan and Harry actually said very little during the 34-minute podcast, leaving it mostly to the guests to reflect on the unprecedented year. Meghan used a similar tactic of getting celebrity guests when she started her own blog The Tig, back when she was an actress. According to the book, Meghan, a Hollywood princess, the Duchess, hustled people to try and get celebrities to write for her blog, answering five set questions for Tig Talk. She understood that big names drive traffic, and so surrounded herself with these celebrities to promote her blog and her own personal profile. Royal biographer Andrew Morton wrote, With the birth of the Tig, Meghan had her hands full, making sure that the new arrival was fed, watered and coddled. It was a full-time occupation, staying awake until the early hours, cruising Instagram for ideas about what was trending, interesting and timely, writing all the short, snappy content herself and hustling anyone and everyone to get celebrities to answer the five questions that created the format for TikTok. Actress and singer Emmy Rossum got the ball rolling by saying that if she was down to her last $10 one of the standard questions, she would sing in the street for money. Others, like fashion guru Josie and model Jessica Stam added their thoughts, while Megan dragooned interior designer Natasha Baradaran to talk about her favorite city Milan. She knew that big names drove traffic and would attract other celebrities to participate. One of the people Megan was determined to get to write for her blog was model-turned-entrepreneur Heidi Plum. She contacted everyone she knew, hoping to get contact details for her, and eventually Ms. Plum replied. She also managed to get actress Elizabeth Hurley, who played Queen Helena in The Royals, to write for The Tig. The Royals is a tongue-in-cheek take on the House of Windsor. Ms. Hurley told readers of The Tig that everything tastes better with a slug of vodka. Meghan filled her blog with profiles of cool places to visit, interesting restaurants and innovative chefs. It was through this that she actually met her boyfriend of two years, celebrity chef Corey Vitiello. He ran a restaurant in downtown Toronto that she had been eating at for years and he claimed to make the best burger in town. They crossed paths when Meghan did a feature on him, and later got to know him much better. Their relationship lasted until May 2016, just weeks before Meghan met Prince Harry in London. The TIG was taken down when Meghan decided to marry into the royal family, as was her personal Instagram page.